So this is a MetSpa website that I created using Google Gemini. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom, select the service, click on book consultation. And as soon as I do, you will see that this NADN gets triggered. This workflow gets triggered and I should be getting a call soon. And there you go. As you can see, I'm receiving that call. So now I'm going to interact with this voice agent and I'm going to show you how to build this step by step. Hello. Hi, may I speak with Zubair, please? Uh, speaking. Hi, Zubair. This is Cindy calling from Marina Glow Med Spa. Is now the time for a quick call? Uh, it is. Great. You recently submitted a consultation request on our website, and I'm calling to follow up and help you book an appointment if you'd like. I see that you were interested in facial treatments. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I wanted to do Botox. Perfect. Thank you for confirming. So you're interested in Botox. Would you like to go ahead and book a consultation appointment now? Um, yeah, I just wanted to have, I just had a quick question. So during the consultation, I'm assuming I can ask uh, any questions because I have a bunch of questions. Absolutely. During the consultation, you'll have plenty of time to ask any questions you have and we'll make sure to address all of them. Now, what day and time works best for you to book the appointment? Um, do you have any availability tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Checking availability for tomorrow at 10 a.m. It looks like 10 a.m. tomorrow isn't available, but we do have openings from 9 to 10 a.m. or from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Would either of those work for you? Uh, yeah, let's do 9 a.m. That's fine. That works. Okay, the appointment for tomorrow at 9 a.m. It seems we need to confirm your contact details before booking the appointment. Could you please provide your email address and phone number? Yeah, email is johndoe at gmail.com and phone number is 512-335-2255. Booking the appointment for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Great. I've booked the appointment for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Before we wrap up, can I quickly confirm your phone number as plus one five one two three three five two two five five? And your email is john.do at gmail.com? That's correct. Thank you for confirming. All right, Zubair, thank you for your time today and for choosing Marina Glomet Spa. We look forward to seeing you. Have right. a great day. Thank you. All right, so as you saw, that was a really natural conversation. And the way I've built this voice agent is using Retail AI. And I'm using GPT Real Time, which is actually one of the best model when it comes to building voice agents because there's no lag, there's no awkward delays. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build this. And by the way, I'm going to give you all of these resources completely for free, including the prompts and then also uh, the NADN template. So that way, all you have to do is just kind of download everything and you can just follow me along. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to show you how to download this blueprint. So all you have to do is go to my school community. This is a free school community. Uh, link is going to be in the description. You're going to head over to the YouTube resources and all of these free voice agents and other agents that I've built are there. And then, of course, if you're interested in learning and becoming a certified voice AI and agent expert, I have an entire voice AI course here with Retail AI, which is the best no-code platform that we're going to take a look at, including a certification program. So if you want to become a certified voice AI expert that you can start to sell, to clients, then please make sure you join the paid community. And I also have an AI agency course if you're interested in starting your AI agency. But anyway, so once you download that blueprint from uh, that free resource, free the, the free community, you're going to come to these three dots, click on import from file, and you're just going to basically import that download a JSON file, and it's going to bring all of this over for you. So now once you have this, you're pretty much all set in the back end side of things. So as far as the front end goes, uh, I've built this MetSpa website using uh, Google's AI Studio, Google Gemini, which is an absolutely incredible product, which is completely free, by the way. So you can vibe code any website. As you can see on the left hand side, all I did was I just gave it this one big prompt and I said, build a modern premium one page website from a San Francisco MetSpa called Marine Glow MetSpa. And again, all of this is the reason why I built this is this is something that you can utilize and sell to your customers, right? This is something that you can get up in front of a existing business and you say, hey, I built you this custom website with your logo, with your name that has the ability to uh, have a voice agent that will call your leads as soon as they submit a form on their website. And again, as you can see on the left hand side here, by the way, you can just pause the screen and take a screenshot of this prompt so that way you can put this on uh, Google Gemini. Um, and it'll create this exact website for you. Uh, the, mo the, the most important thing here is that you want to make sure that you're saying that all of this information that the customer submit needs to be sent to uh and then in the back end via a webhook. Now, the way to access this webhook or the way I access this webhook is I came to NADN. Of course, once you download this over to your 
uh, and then everything is going to be brought over. So the only thing you need to do is you need to come here, click on copy. So if you just click on this, this will copy this URL. Yours is obviously going to look a little different. It's going to be your uh, NADN app account. So just replace this with your own URL. Everything else is exactly the same. So everything, as you can see, it's only one prompt. There's nothing else I did there. So it should work. But if it doesn't, if you're in some kind of issues, just go ahead and keep going back and forth with Gemini and it'll fix everything. But as you can see in the bottom, so this is what I did. I basically selected the name, email, phone number, and a service, right? I just put these uh, random MetSpa services like, you know, microneedling, hydrofacial, Botox, everything else. And once a person clicks on book consultation, all of that data is being sent via the webhook, right? Via the webhook to our backend, to our NADN. So if I just quickly do that, you will see that, let me actually do that quickly. So that way we can see, I'm just going to put my name, just random phone number and microneedling. I'm going to click on book consultation. Whoops, I actually forgot to turn on the NA then. So uh, I'm going to click on this execute workflow right here. So what this is going to do is going to wait for that that uh, webhook call to come through. So as you can see right here in the bottom, it says waiting for trigger event. So now if I click on book consultation again, you will see now there you go, that got triggered, right? And this sends that information and I should be receiving, there you go. So I receive another phone call, but I'm not gonna answer it obviously because we went through the demo already. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this webhook. So as you can see, all of this information is coming into me via this webhook. On the right hand side, you can see on the body, I'm getting the full name, the email, the phone number, the service requested, right? Now, afterwards, this is being sent to this HTTP request node. Now, of course, this is something that is a um, API, basically, that's connected to our retail voice agent that I'm going to walk through in a little bit. But the, the, only, the only thing you need to do here is, again, obviously, you'll have access to this free template. Once you bring this over, make sure you change your custom uh, auth, the retail. This is just you attach your API, and then everything else will should work as it is. And again, this is just basically uh, the two number, the name, the phone, the email, the service number. I'm just dragging and dropping it from here. So that's why you see that there. And this agent ID, this is important. I'm going to show you what this is referring to. All right, so that's basically your NADN. And what this is doing, the next step is updating this lead information because obviously we want to, when a customer submits their information, we want to capture that and put that in some kind of a CRM, right? So I'm using Google Sheets. So if I go to my Google Sheets here, there you go. As you can see, these are that, this is the information that was sent over through that uh, voice agent or to the back end, right? It got captured there. So that's what we're doing. We're basically updating our Google Sheet with the customer's data. So that's essentially the HTTP request node. The second part is optional. This is if you want to update uh, uh, the Google Sheet with the phone summary of the AI agent. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but this is not necessary if you don't want to do that. But anyway, so that's basically what this does. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this voice agent. So if you're not familiar with retail, retail is one of the best voice agent platform. Actually, it is the best voice agent platform in the market right now. So you can click on the link in the description. You can create a free account. So once you create your free account, you can create a new agent and you can create a single prompt agent. So now what you can do is take this entire prompt. And again, this is in the community. I've built a bunch of these that you can check out. Um, and what we're doing is basically we're saying, hey, you're Cindy AI powered voice assistant for Marina Glow Met Spa, which is a premium Met Spa located in San Francisco. Your role is to follow up when people submit consultation forms to confirm their service and help them book an appointment. That's the goal we're giving it, right? So these are, this is a bunch of critical rules that we're giving it that it must not skip any steps. It must follow all the steps in the bottom step by step. It must make sure that it identifies the receipt. So it says, Hi, may I speak with name, please? Now, this name right here, this is a dynamic variable that's coming in from our NADN via this API. So as you can see right here, this name here is being sent as a variable to our front end right here. And this voice agent in retail is able to capture that and understand that. That's why, as you saw during the demo, as soon as I picked up the call, the voice agent was able to recognize who I am. So it said, hi, may I speak to Zubair, please? So because this name is coming in from that webhook in the back end in NADN, right? So it says, if yes, hi, name, 
This is Cindy calling from Marina Glow Med Spa. Is this a good time for a quick call? So we're giving it step-by-step -step instructions on what to do and including what to say, right? So that's how much control you can have with retail AI. So same thing, I'm a, uh, step two. Uh, it's telling it that you recently submitted a consultation request on our website. I'm calling to follow up and help you book an appointment, right? Step three, confirm service. So now we're saying, I see that you were interested in the service requested. Same thing. This is a dynamic variable that's coming in from our front end right here, right? This is the service that the person is sending. So that's what we're saying is the voice agent should be able to recognize that. And it says acknowledge any response. And then afterwards, we need to book an appointment. Now, this is where kind of the, the magic of retail AI comes in here. Uh, it says after the user says, yes, I'm ready to book an appointment, right? We can check the calendar availability right here. So check calendar availability using the requested day and time. Use the check availability cal. Now, this is a function that's referring specifically to the functions right here. So as you can see right here in, in, in retail, you have the ability to add these multiple functions. One of the most common one is obviously checking calendar and booking appointment in a calendar. I'm using cal.com, but you can actually even use a Google calendar through NADN if you prefer, but this is a lot simpler. So the way to add this, you just click on this and you basically go to your cal.com and you just put your API and your event ID. Again, it's very, very simple. If you don't have a, a cal.com account, go ahead and click on, um, go ahead and create a free one and you can create an API key and just add it here. The second step is book an appointment. Same thing. I just added this book calendar and all you have to do is just copy and paste your API key again and all everything will be all set. So that's why these functions are already here. So all I'm doing is from the prompt of this agent, I'm referring when to use these functions. Here, I'm using check calendar availability uses the requested date and time by the user, use the check availability calendar. And again, you want to make sure that the names are matching exactly like they are. And then if request time is available, use book appointment call to book the appointment. So that's what I'm doing. I'm calling the second function here. And of course, as you can see on the calendar, that's why I specifically pointed out 10 a.m. because I was I had a busy block calendar. So that's why it said, oh, sorry, that time is not available, but it gave me additional times, right? So that's why it booked this particular meeting and it sends the email, it organize it, everything is all done automatically. And as you can imagine, if this is an actual med spa, then this is something that would they would definitely be able to utilize. All right, so afterwards, uh, after the appointment is booked, I'm just saying that make sure that you are confirming the contact information. That's step seven, right? That's why I said before we wrap up, can I quickly confirm your phone number as phone and your email as email again? These are two of the dynamic variables that are coming in to, from the back end there from NADN. So that's why it knows exactly to confirm that before closing. And it says closing. All right, name. Thank you for your time today and choosing Marina Spa. We look forward to seeing you. And then at the end, I'm saying use end call. This is again, just a native function. It's very simple. You click on add click on end call. There's nothing you don't need to do anything. Just click on save and it will add the end call function, meaning the AI voice agent will basically hang up politely, right? So that's what it is. Again, it's very simple. It's not that difficult to build, but it's extremely useful. As you can see, you can, you can, you can sell this actually for med spas and other businesses, right? Um, and also one, one thing I wanted to point out, this GPT real time mini, I mean, it's like, um, 12 cents, 12 and a half cents a minute, but it's incredible. It's one of the best, actually it's the best voice agent or voice model because the latency is extremely low, right? Uh, so that agent ID I was talking about, that agent ID is right here. So I just copied this and I pasted it right here. This is that agent ID, right? Because when we send this information via the API, this is the endpoint, right? It's V2 creative phone call. Uh, we want to make sure that we connect it to the proper agent that we're creating in our retail. So that's what that's referring to. Uh, but anyways, like I said, hopefully um, you can you you understand the value of these type of voice agents. And this is something that our community members actually um, one of the best ways to close their first client. I mean, we have Libis who just recently or Isaac who recently closed his first AI automation client. It was a voice agent. Um, after getting certified and then Libis closed a 22,000 voice AI agent with a $1,500 a month retainer, which is incredible. And we provide these certifications because once you have this certification, you can be listed on the retails AI's website as a certified partner. And then you can reach out to leads or actually they will send you leads as well. So if you're interested in that, like I said, check out the community. I have this entire step-by-step -step course where I go through everything about retail, including multiple demo 
uh, examples that I've created. And then also, if you're interested in certification, check it out. And of course, like I said, if you're interested in learning how to start your AI agency and sell voice agents and other AI automation, check out the community. Hopefully you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be making more content on our voice agents that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.